morning everybody beautiful people on the internet i hope you're having an amazing day i've gotten a brand new haul for you guys and oh my gosh i went a little bit overboard i've acquired 20 books and i'm gonna show you guys them okay <laughs> bon appetit so in today's video, I'm obviously going to go through a lot of books. There's 20 new books that I bought, so I hope you enjoy. And also, I hope you like this mirror necklace. I got it from my mother. It is gorgeous. First book that I got from this pile is Oscar Wilde, The Portrait of Mr. W.H. I don't really know what the book is about, but all I know is that it's written by Oscar Wilde and I know that I have to read anything by Oscar Wilde because he's a legendary icon and I'm so inspired by Oscar Wilde and his writing. The next book that I got is Creative Writing. I'm writing my own poetry book and I need to know more about writing, creative writing, and how to structure and write a book. So I want to learn more about writing and the power of words and so I got this. The next book I got is Oscar Wilde Selected Poems. I got this from Scoop Books and it is from the older edition. It is from 1911 so this one's a bit older but i thought it was so cool to have like an older edition of an oscar book that was written close to the period time that he was alive so this is pretty cool and i'm super excited to read it i don't know when i'm gonna read this one not anytime soon i have books falling everywhere literally the next book that i acquired is to Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Mellers because I'm going to be meeting the author on Monday so I got both of these lovelies and my husband he's already on page 84 and I finally caught up I just hit my 100 page mark yesterday and I'm gonna do some more reading because I'm adding it into a vlog as well so two of these super excited to finish that I'm gonna leave my copy on over here because I'm gonna read it later I don't know how to speak French Albert Camus Le Tête de Suge and of course I just had to get it because it was only four pounds and it's written by the famous author Albert Camus so of course I had to get it because they had a lot of other ones but they're written by authors that I don't know and Albert Camus is like the most famous French writer that everybody knows about and I really like this, this is so aesthetically pleasing how the edges are, do you see that? Right, and the next book that I got is from a charity shop Emma by Jane Austen, this is the older edition from 1950s really cool I love how the inside looks gorgeous I got it also because it's pink so of course I had to acquire this all right next book that I got is the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde and I got this from eBay because apparently they're all sold out if you want to go buy this in person so if this one is a bit of a worn out one uh, it's not as bad as the other ones that I have but I do love this picture of Oscar on the back I think he looks very in his position of an author. Don't you just love the hair, like the hairstyle? Like he was really working it. Thankfully the pages on the inside are not damaged, so that's nice. It's just like the cover. And also, we gotta smell this one. Ooh, five out of five stars. I think almost like older books are like so pleasing to smell. I just think that like some brand new books like this are just as pleasing because they have like that glue smell uh, but it's kind of strange to think that this new book and who knows like 50 years from now it's gonna be yellow inside that's weird anyways um let's carry on so the next book that i got is homer by the iliad of course i wanted to get this one because i saw this in a youtube video by books book booktuber um, and it looks so aesthetically pleasing, so I had to get it. And I got this one from Waterstones um, by Scoot Books, and I'm so excited to read this one. And I went a little bit crazy. You guys are gonna judge me, but I went a little bit crazy with 
Evelyn Waugh. Uh, I bought three box of his plus another one which is right here. So I bought four Evelyn Waugh books. Let's go through them. So I bought this one at the Walter Stones that I bought this one by Scoob. And then I got these two. Wait, no. So I got this one by Scoob. This one from a charity shop. And then this one from Oxfam that was so difficult to find. I was really struggling to find this book. You cannot find this book anywhere. So I was gonna buy it online, uh, like this edition, but it looks so scraggly and like beat up. So this was like located in an Oxfam charity shop that was across the Thames River. And so I had to get on the overground, the underground, a bus and in the DSLR train, I believe it's called, um, to, to get this book. So I traveled far and wide to get to this book, like almost two hours of traveling to get this book. And I thought, so I took a bus to the River Thames because I thought there was a bridge that you can walk across the River Thames, but apparently there wasn't. And so the bridge was underground and I was walking down these spiral stairs and I saw like the tunnel going across the other side and because it was underground, you felt the pressure and I don't know, I just, I just felt so claustrophobic that I just got out immediately. I couldn't do it. So I just took the train. And this one from Charity Shop. Sorry, that took me a minute. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And of course I got this one, like I said, by Watcherstones. Also, I want to show you guys, I got this really, really cute mug. That matches. How cute is that? This was on sale at Watchersons. So of course I have to get that by the Tottenham Street. And yeah, so that's Evelyn War Books. And uh, so the next one, I actually read this one. A Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway. I got this from School Books as well. Um, I paid five pounds for it. First half of the book was good. And the second half, I got really bored. Like I was dragging myself through it. I love Ernest Hemingway, like the way he writes, it's so like simple and it's so like detailed about life and stuff. I don't know, I just love his writing. So that's good. This book I got was Dracula's Guest. This is the missing chapter from his original novel, but Dracula, that they took out. So I'm so excited to read it. And I'm also going to Romania soon. So I think I'm going to bring this copy with me and read it while I'm there. So I get like the whole Romanian vibe. Okay, next one that I got recommended by a booktuber, A Spy in a House of Love by Ani Anani Anais. I don't know how to say that. Nin. Um, I'll read you the synopsis. Sabina is a firebird blazing through 1950s New York. She is a woman daring to join the central license that men have always known. Wearing a striking outfit and playing dangerous games inside, she deliberately always committed to representation of self that is involved in the search of love. This sounds so interesting. I'm so excited. I got this out of Altistones. And I got these two at Walter Stone. So this is Things We Say in the Dark by Kirsty Logan. This was such a hard book to find. I went in the biggest Piccadilly store in all of Europe and they couldn't find this book. I had literally three employees searching for this book on the first floor, second floor, third floor, the front of the store, the back of the store, everywhere. Nobody could find this book. But the other Walter Stones that, that's in Covent Garden, they had it. So of course got it. And I'm super excited to read it because like look at the cover, amazing, and like just how it, it's short stories about things we're afraid to say in the dark, kind of self-explanatory, but I'm just like really interested in reading this and it has like really pretty illustrations on some of the chapters, let's read this. And then the next one I got, I literally bought this on a whim, right when I was at checkout at the Covert Garden Waterstones, it's a world of love. A packet of letters found in an attic leads young Jane into the world of love. The attic is in Montfront, a corroding country house in the country court, which harbors a collection of people held there by ties of kingship or habit and haunted by the memory of its former owner. During one hot and dry summer, Jane pursues her romantic imaginings while not far off the rich lady Lattery waits to play her part in Jane's awakening. 
I don't know really what this is about, I'm still kind of confused. But it's by Elizabeth Bowen and I really just love the cover. The cover was so pretty. So this is all from Watcher Stands. And then I got The Bloody Chamber by Angela Carter. I don't really know what this is about, but I know it has some... I read the back, it says it has to do with fairy tales and legends like Red Riding Hood, Puss in Boots, Beauty and the Beast, Vampires and Werewolves. So, of course, I was just, like, so stoked about it because I don't really know. Some people said it's, like, like, in, like, scary? I don't know. But I bought it from a charity shop, and there's, like, some underlines in here. Um, but it was £1, so I couldn't pass it up. Alright, next book is Anna Green Gables. I got this from a bookshop that was so cheap. They had so many classics for so cheap. This was only £3. Um, this is by L.M. Montgomery, and I'm so excited to read Anna Green Gables because I have this favorite booktuber, her name is Darlene Desi, and she comments about living life, her life, romanticizing her life as Anne Shirley, and so I want to know what she's talking about. So I really want to read this book, and I'm super excited to start. And I didn't really show this in a proper video, but this is all of my old books that I've got from Scoo Books. Wait, no. I got these from Scoo Books and then this from Charity Shop. And I want to read these two. Oh my god. And then I want to read... Uh, I want to read... I want to finish uh, The Picture of Dorian Gray. I really want to read Normal People. I really want to read this one, Good Morning Midnight. I think that would be such a cute read. Oh, I really want to read Plain Bald Herons. I was going to read this in October and I didn't. I'm so upset about that. Um, oh my gosh, I was going to read Radio Silence. I didn't read that. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys wouldn't believe it, but I still haven't finished Babel. Yes, I still haven't finished it. I tapped it like crazy, so I did like it, but it was so intellectual and slow to get through, so I stopped. I'm not going to DNF it, but... I'm finishing it very slowly. Um, and then, then over here I got classics, which I want to read all of these. I've read this one. And that's it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I showed you guys this, but I bought the Dante comedies. Uh, this is Paradiso. And then I got Purgatory. I didn't get Inferno because I'm looking for this edition. That's the cheaper edition, um, but I didn't find any. I am so confused with what to read for this month because I have so many books I'm gonna read, but I have to focus on one book at a time because I'm not gonna finish anything. Like a lot of the booktubers say, you go by how your mood is. So if your mood is like feeling vintage 1920s, you're gonna read Evelyn Waugh. If you're feeling fantasy, you're gonna read these Twisted Bones. If you're feeling poetry, you're gonna read Savannah Brown. It really depends on like mood and like stuff like that. <clears throat> but yeah guys, that's all the books that I have acquired over the past two weeks. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Bye!